In this video, we'll be investigating the resistance of a filament lamp, looking at the filament lamp itself and also the shape of the current potential difference graph and discovering what this means. First of all, it's best to look at a more straightforward component such as a linear resistor. It's possible to measure the current and voltage relationship using a simple circuit. With two meters, one set for current and the other for voltage, the actual values can be measured. It's found that resistors like these have a straight line relationship between the current and potential difference. In other words, they have a constant resistance for the different levels of potential difference, and they follow Ohm's law. They are what are termed ohmic components. Now let's look at incandescent lamps. These lamps have a very fine coiled wire or filament within the glass bulb. When current passes through this filament, it heats up, becoming white hot and giving out light. Incandescent or filament lamps are being phased out because they're very inefficient. Only around 5% of the energy supplied is converted into light. Lamps based around light emitting diodes or LEDs are very much better. Incandescent lamps operate because the current passing through the filament dissipates energy as heat. This raises the temperature of the filament so that it becomes white hot and even though most of the energy is converted into heat, some is converted into light. Many torches also use filament lamps, and it's possible to look at how they respond at different voltages without using the high voltages needed for domestic lighting lamps. It's possible to use the same circuit as before to measure the current and voltage, only replacing the resistor with a torch filament lamp. As the potential difference across the lamp increases, so the current also increases and the lamp starts to shine. Plotting the curve of the current against the potential difference, it can be seen that it's non-linear. This means that the resistance is not constant for all potentials or, or voltages, and hence the filament lamp is non-ohmic. At higher levels of potential, the current doesn't increase as much for the same increase in potential. In other words, the resistance is higher. The reason for the resistance change is that the filament gets very hot, white hot as we said before. Initially the resistance is low, but as the temperature rises the atoms in the conductor have more energy and they vibrate more. This increases the number of times the electrons collide with the atoms in the material. As a result this impedes the flow of the electrons to a greater degree, hence the electrical resistance rises as the temperature rises. In this video, we've seen that some components are ohmic and have a linear relationship between current and potential difference. But a filament lamp changes its resistance as the potential increases. It has a non-linear relationship between current and potential difference, and it is said to be non-ohmic.